In this video, we are going to solve this question, which is solve for x in log x plus 3 plus log x equal to 1. When you have any question on log reading without a base, the base is usually 10. So if I have log x plus 3 and there is no base there, the base is 10, even though it is not written there. So plus log x is equal to 1. I'm going to apply the laws of log reading to solve this question. One of the laws says that log p to base a plus log q to base a is log p times q to base a. So if I apply this law, in our question, I'm going to have log x multiplied by x plus 3. So let me put the x outside. Then x plus 3 equal to 1. And like I said earlier, when we write log reading without a base, the base is 10. So I'm going to put this as 10. I'm going to express this log reading in index form. Um, one of the laws of log reading say that if log p to base a is equal to x, then a to the power of s is equal to p. That is a statement of log reading. The log reading of a number p to base a is equal to the index x to which a must be raised to be equal to p. So if I apply that here, that means x multiplied by x plus 3 is equal to 10 to the power of 1. So I express the logarithm in index form like what I did here in this statement of logarithm. Now expanding this bracket or distributing the x with the terms inside. So x times s is s square. Why x times 3 is 3s equal to 10 to the power of 1 is 10. Now moving 10 to the other side, I will have x squared plus 3x. This is plus 10 here. When it crosses, the sign of equality becomes minus 10 equal to 0. And this has led us to a quadratic equation. On my approach of solving quadratic equation, apart from the use of formula and a completing square, by am factorizing, I multiply the first term by the constant term. S squared times negative 10 is negative 10 S squared. Now, I'll look for two factors of negative 10 s squared that when i add the factors i will get this middle term which is positive 3x here but when i multiply the two factors i should get this negative 10 s squared the factors of 10 are 5 and 2 the one that can satisfy of this condition here and recall we are talking about factors in x so this has to be 5x and this has to be 2x the question then is how do we add 5x and 2x to get 3x 5 has to be plus y this has to be negative so that 5x plus negative 2x of course plus times minus is plus is minus rather I have 5x minus 2x which give us 3x and it's 3x that is the middle term there so this factor satisfy our requirement so because of that we are going to replace the middle term in the equation with the factor so that I have s squared plus 5x minus 2x minus 10 equal to 0. I'm going to group this 2 by 2 so I can factor out the common factor. I have s squared plus 5x minus 
2x because I'm introducing in bracket this will no longer be minus here it's going to be plus 10 so that when we remove the bracket minus times plus should give us a minus so I have zero here I have a common uh, factor here which is x so I factor it out s into x plus 5 and here 2 can divide both of them so that is our common factor x plus 5 equal to 0 now we have a common factor s plus 5 so I have pick only one x minus 2 equal to 0 that means x plus 5 is equal to 0 or x minus 2 is equal to zero and when my when plus rather crosses equality become minus i have negative five and when negative when minus crosses equality become positive so x is equal to negative five or two and that is what i have for you in this video i hope you found it useful if you do don't forget to like the video also subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification so that you get notified when I release a new content. Thank you.